put your fucking people on. Like, for real. Like, <laughs> that shit bold as hell if you be eating in your niggas tonight, nigga. Sit here. Let me break this down to you. You got to kick the language as if you got it going on. You know, like with the program. Like a Microsoft Word program on my computer? No, man. Listen to me. You got to speak to the people as though you are with it. As if you ain't new to this. Okay, okay. What's the deal? It's Mickey in the Cut, and you're watching the Playhouse Podcast, man. All right, so today I'm here with... 322 g Watt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I just want to start off with, you know, who are you? Where are you from? Where your name come from? Shit, I'm from the east side. Shit. I got my name for real from in the studio. My shit was really G-Baby at first, but if y'all ever watched Hardball, that shit was... <laughs> <laughs> my nigga G Baby died, so all my brothers was like that shit ass, but he gotta change that shit. Yeah, that shit. So I, was, <laughs> that so I just shit changed up. my shit to G Walk because you feel me? G Walk keeps the lean on. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. So, uh, so being from the east side, did that influence your music at all? Shit, not for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie. I grew up off of old school music for real, so that's what really motivated me to do music. A lot of my songs. Really old school samples for real. Oh, yeah. yeah, so, um, yeah, like, I ain't gonna say Detroit East Side music really influenced me. And for real, I didn't even start rapping until high school. So, and I ain't even rap for real in high school. I started rapping for real when I uh, graduated and then I started rapping with my nigga Duck. Oh, for sure. So, what's your relationship with Duck? That's my brother, shout out man. To, I'm sorry, my fault. Shout out 322 Dope. Yeah, shout out 322 Dope, man. That's my brother, for real. Like, on some real shit. He's, he really got me rapping this shit. You know what I mean? He told me, you know what I mean? Take this shit serious, and that's what we doing with it. What's up? So, 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 you see y'all collabing in the future at all? A little, little feature, a little take together? Uh, yeah, I actually got some shit out with Dope right now. Y'all can check that shit out on YouTube. And shit, yeah, we got some shit coming for y'all, man. Yeah. We got the real hardest in the city for sure. For sure. So besides y'all, uh, who you listen to? Like, since since you the hardest in the city, who who not? I they not talking you, but who the second? Who who coming close? Sure, yeah. it's a few niggas that that could rap out there, man. But shit, I really mainly listen to like my shit and all my nigga shit for real. I don't really, I ain't gonna say I don't listen to other niggas, but. That's what I really listen to for real, all my brother shit. For sure. Uh, for sure. Shit, that's all I can say for real. Yeah. So do you think that's important, like, to listen to other people or just, you know, go off you and your nigga shit and, you know, like, I mean, that? I, I ain't saying it's bad to not listen to other niggas. You feel me? I still listen to other niggas. Don't get me wrong. But if I'm going to choose something to listen to on a regular basis, it's going to be, you feel me, my niggas. Yeah. I know at the end of the day. What we rap about, everything true. I don't know what other people rap about, uh, if it's true or not. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just listen to my niggas and shit till we blow. Mm -hmm. Really. All right. So how you? So I know you said you. You know you don't know if it's, if it's real or not. So shit. Like I don't know. Like do that. <laughs> like, how you be knowing? Basically, like how you know if it's if it's real shit or not. Shit is like, like. Everything in this generation like fake for real. Like social media got everybody head in the yeah. little I don't know what to call it for real. So everybody just trying to impress everybody. So yeah. a lot of people just lying in their raps and, mm -hmm. and posting they not not their life for real. They just hiding behind the camera, hiding behind the mic, all type of stuff. So I don't really listen to a lot of people for real, but I listen to a lot of industry and stuff like that though. Yeah. And I listen to yeah, I listen to some Detroit niggas like Ray, some mm -hmm. Jezzo, all them niggas, and yeah. shit like that. But other than that, yeah, I don't know. It's just like, it's just a lot of lying going on and shit, so. Yeah. I just know my niggas rapping about shit, too, so. Nah, I feel it for sure. So, as far as like, yo, your inspiration and all that, like, you said, like, old school music. Who your favorite uh, old school artist? Ooh. I ain't gonna lie, that's a few out there. Uh, I fuck with Marvin Gaye. Oh, Marvin Gaye. Man, I fuck with Luther too, man. Mm -hmm. And um, Darnell Jones. Yeah, um, Lauren Hill. Man, there's a lot of them, for real, for real. Um, I don't even know. Music, I forgot. Is that his name? Music? Yeah. You like M 
M U S I Q. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. him too, man. So it's just, there's a lot of old school people I listen to. That's what I grew up off of, for real, for real. Early as hell on Saturday morning, you know, it's time to clean up and all that type of thing. So. Yeah. For sure, so if you could get a feature from anybody alive or dead, but, you know, old school. Oh, Tupac, for sure. That's my favorite artist of all the time. Tupac or Biggie, you feel me? Snoop Dogg. There's a lot of old school rapping. I even fuck with, like, like I said, the little R&B, like Lauryn Hill. Get a little feature from Lauryn Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, for real, for real, for real. But Tupac, for sure, is going to be my first option. All right. So, as far as industry music, who you listen to? Dirt. I listen to Dirt, shit. Young Boy. Um, Future, Drake, mm. shit, typical niggas for real, for real. Yeah, I feel it. So since you're a new artist, and it took Dirk 10 years to get to where he at. Right. So, you know, you're a newer artist, you haven't dropped that much. How you feel about your journey? Like, where you see yourself going? Yeah, I can just hope for the best, man. Shit. I just know nobody supporting me, I'm gonna support myself, so. Right. You know what I mean? So, it's just gonna take a little longer, but. It's gonna be all worth it at the end, for real, for real. Right. So well, how you feel about support too, especially like in you know like a fake generation? Man, people gonna support who they want to support. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? It's just if you want to support me, you can support me. If you don't, then I ain't about to beg nobody to support me. So it's just when I blow, just now you feel me, be on my coattail. Nothing like that. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> it's just gonna take a little longer, but it is what it is. For real, for real. Okay. So I know YouTube right now, like that's a platform that you use to put your music on. So do you plan to use any other streaming platforms? Yeah, y'all could uh y'all could check out Apple Music in about a week or so. I'm getting on my uh working on my tape right now, so I'm about to have that on Apple Music, Spotify, all that. For sure, so what's the status with your uh, your tape? What's up? Man, I'm just I got I got a few more songs to do. I got like like three more songs to doing this over. Uh, just waiting on my my um, cover to get done to, and then that's it for real. Right, right. So what inspired this? It's a, a album or an EP? It's an EP. Oh, okay. a little seven song EP. Right, for sure. So yeah, it's called uh, the world. I mean, yeah, the world belong to Fab. Mm -hmm. So um, shit, it's just I don't know. It's just I'm trying to take it serious. So I've got to got to really drop stuff now. So. You know, Apple Music, all that, so it's really, really motivating me, for real. For sure, for sure. So what does, like, in general, like, what motivates you? Like, what got you here? My mama, my dad, for real. It's just, um, no matter what I do, they always support me, so it's just like, you feel me? Um, that's what really motivates me, for real. They want me to do my best in anything I do. Yeah. So, I'm going to do rap, I'm going to do it to the fullest, for real. And, yeah, family in the hood. They they always motivate me. All my all my niggas in the hood, everybody's they all motivate me, girl. Get them all out. So it really just you know what I mean, just gotta get to it every day. No cap, that shit hard. Though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you gotta get it though. So, but um, shit. So oh, so what like inspired the album or what inspired the EP? True, the uh, the world belong to five EP. Man, that's just what we. That's what we stand on, the world belong to Fab, mm -hmm. and Fab rule the world, so right. it's just, that's what, that's what it is, so that's what I got the name from, and, and my brother Dope about to drop his little, little EP, um, the world belong to Fab, so there's a lot of fire coming for y'all, a whole right. bunch of new shit, we got a lot of shit in the vault for real, for real, for y'all, so y'all can be looking forward for that for sure. Yes. So um so what is Fab like? And it, it's it's F A B or is yeah, it don't it don't matter. F A B. Oh, okay. Flesh and blood. And so yeah, them it's just a, it ain't a gang or nothing. It's a family for real. For real. It's a, a brotherhood. And we got each other to the end. So so who all like? I mean I don't know if you want to go through all that or want to like go through and name all the names, but who's all the part of you know flesh and blood? It's just a little, it's it's a few people. I ain't gonna name everybody name. Yeah. Um, but um, they know who they is. So, yeah, it's just that's what it is. It's just a family. 
They know who they is and we stand on that. And, and we tight for real, for real. You feel me? You know dope a part of my nigga Lucky. Yeah. You interviewed them too. So yeah. I'm just, shout out to them. Shout, shout out, out Lucky. Lucky. Yeah, shout out Lucky man. Shout out to my nigga uh dope. Shout out to all the members for real, for real, bro. Yeah, y'all know who y'all is and shit them my brothers for real. For sure. So being inside the city, I know a lot of people don't usually get out or, you know, travel at a young because we are you think we're pretty young. So mm-hmm. have you been outside the city at Oh yeah, oh yeah, sure. Like last month I was just in Mexico. Oh shit, I was in Mexico. You sure. living it up. Yeah. Shit. yeah, I was just in Mexico. I don't travel a lot. I went to I was in Houston a few months ago too. Oh yeah, we can we can talk it up about Houston. I love Houston. Yeah, Houston was an experience for sure. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I said, I've been to Mexico, Tennessee. I used to live in Alabama. Right. Uh, there's a few Florida, all types of places for real. So there's a few more places I gotta of course go to, but we are gonna get that off the list for sure. Mm-hmm. Of course, of course. So as far as like um the southern states or the southern areas that you name. Like I know, I heard it's the difference between like the the cultures and the people and everything. So what's the difference between you know you growing up in Detroit versus Alabama or Florida or Houston? Man, um, I actually I went to Alabama and then when I graduated, so mm-hmm. it was a big difference for real because I'm fresh fresh out of high school. You feel me? And I actually went down there with my nigga money, man, free money for real. You feel me? But um, we went down there and shit. This shit was different as hell. We was two broke ass college students, man, trying to get it, get any way we can, man. We figured it out though. So shit, it was different for sure. The culture different and yeah. how people act down there different. And everything just different for real. So is it a better? Is the yeah. city better or is? I love my city. I love Detroit. Um, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta start that shit off like that. I love Detroit for real. I gotta start off like that. I, I love Detroit, but you feel me? Alabama was cool. I love. It's just like one. If you you Detroit people know like the Detroit always gonna be in you. So it's like you feel me? You gonna always love Detroit. So it's like it's hard. You can't not. You can't diss your city. It's like yeah. Detroit one on one for real. For real but okay. Alabama was for sure a different experience, and I fucked with it for sure. Yeah. Shit, the vibe down there, everything, the support down there, different. Everything just smooth as hell down there, for real. For sure. So, as far as like Flesh and Blood as well as other artists, um, who would you want to feature with besides like Tupac? So, in general? Sure, I'll fuck with like my nigga Ray. He hard as hell. He just dropped some shit. So, I'll fuck with Ray for sure. Um, Couple of the Detroiters, for sure, like Peasy, shit, yeah. Benzo Auto. Yeah. I fuck with Dirk. Dirk gave me a chance. Sure. <laughs> but if I gave Dirk a chance, Dirk come come get on a song with me. Okay. Tap in. Tap in with me. Is <laughs> any type of shit. But uh, shit. Yeah, it's not. It's it's a couple of artists out there for sure. I work with though, like okay. you know, Drake, all them, of course. You know, that's a once in a lifetime type shit. So. Yeah. Drake yeah, everybody up. You do a song, do a song with Jay. You for sure getting a billion views, like my nigga Dirk said. Yeah, that's for sure. crazy. Like Dirk <laughs> impact, crazy to me. Yeah, for sure. He put everybody on. You have on. You can be ass as hell. You have on a song <laughs> with Jay. You for sure gonna blow up yeah. some way. So, do you have a uh, like a dream label that you want to be signed to, or do you want to be independent? Like, how would you want to go about your management? Like. In the future, and you know, start dropping more. Um, shit. It's probably stay independent. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Work on what we got going on. Yeah. Shit, and, and let everything happen how it's supposed to happen. For real, for real. I ain't gonna really force nothing or press nothing. For real, it's just go with the flow and just trust in God. For real. For sure. So, do you think FAB will ever make like a label or like you know, so, like yeah. the time? Yeah, for sure. We wait, we got some shit working on on that for sure. And that's what I'm saying, you feel me? Probably stay independent yeah. and work on that. Because that's the real goal at the end of the day. Like yeah. for all of us you feel me be under under our own shit. So yeah. you feel me, that's what we're working on. We got everybody we got a lot of good artists and shit just it just gonna take time, but we gonna work on it for sure and get that done. 
For sure. So as far as your EP, like other than that, you don't have like you a new artist, so you don't have like a lot of music out right now. Right. So as far as your plans for music in the future, like do you have any? Like do you know after your EP when you go yeah. drop some? Yeah, I got a little timeline like on my <laughs> phone. Yeah. Uh, so I can stay updated for sure. Mm-hmm. After my little EP, uh, February twenty second, that's when it's gonna drop. Um, I'm gonna um, do a video shoot for my nigga um, Black and Miles with real visuals from both my brothers. Mm-hmm. Shout out to them for sure. And um, we gonna, for sure gonna work something up with that. Drop a hard ass video, and then I'm gonna drop another um, another EP. Or album, I don't know. I'm feeling depending on how the first one go. Yeah. Um, um, during from March twenty second, three twenty two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, we got a lot. I got some shit cooking up for for y'all, man. Trying to get up out the city. I feel you for sure. Work. Yeah, sure. got to work, man. Gotta work. That's all I can do. All we can do for real, especially when we on pandemic and shit like that. So. Amen. I think the pandemic made a lot of opportunities for people, though. Hell yeah, hell yeah. For sure it did. It gave a lot of people, you feel me, time to really sit down and think about what they could do and shit. Yeah. And about their um, talents and all that. So I feel like that shit was a a good little lesson for everybody, for sure. For sure. I definitely agree. So, personally, I ain't never broke nothing. I don't want to start this first. I ain't never broke nothing. Mm -hmm. So, I heard that you broke your nose. So mm-hmm. what happened with that? What's the story behind that? Man, I was in Alabama. Um, shit. So it was around football season or whatever. So they had this little um, little tournament between the dorms or whatever for flag football. Yeah. So shit, I was on defense and I was playing um, corner, but it, had, it was raining and shit, so the grass was wet. Mm-hmm. So I ran, shit, slipped, my nose hit the, um, the other player knee. My shit just snapped. That shit was bleeding everywhere, man. It was like, I had so much adrenaline, or whatever that word is, <laughs> man, I can't even say it, but I had so much of that, uh, that I ain't even feel it for real, but I was still tweaking for real. It was like, damn, I just broke my shit. Like, yeah. what the fuck? So it was like, shit, I gotta do what I gotta do. And now all my people's, uh, they took me to the hospital, I called my pops. My pops was telling me not to call my mama though. Cause she was gonna get the tweaking. Yeah. So uh, she found out. So I don't even know how she found out. It must be a mother instinct or something. <laughs> she found out and she got the tweaking, calling me, blowing my phone. I'm like, I'm straight, mom. I'm good. She's still tweaking on the phone. I was like, she was about to try to catch a flight down here for a day. <laughs> I was like, what? You wasting your money? <laughs> for sure. That's just silly. That's that's your mama though. I mean, I, I love her. Mama was my number one in my heart, but mm. she built it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She built it for sure. Yeah. So how uh how much of an influence do you think your parents had on you and like your music? They had a lot to do with it. Um feel me. I've I've always been like I grew up around music. Mm. Not my mama's side, but like my pop's side. I've always been around music. My brother sing, um my dad produced Oh, okay. Play instruments, all type of stuff. So it's like they got a real big impact on my like rapping and stuff too. Mm. Um, so shout out to them for sure. Um, I wouldn't be nowhere without them right now, for real, for real. Cause like I said, they really pushed me too. My parents pushed me for this rap shit. Mm. So I really appreciate that. For sure, for sure. So does your daddy produce like any of your music? No, 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 no. My dad, I don't, my pops don't produce my music. <laughs> he, he, uh, he don't really be having time for that for real, for real. Cause he do a lot of stuff, but no, he don't produce my music. Mm. Especially cause during that little flooding season, our studio in the basement got a little fucked up. So uh. that joint got flooded, so we got to rebuild it and everything. Mm. So, but this one's gonna be probably better for sure. Maybe he'll produce some of my music, so I don't have to keep. Paying other people to do it. <laughs> for sure. So who uh who have you worked with so far, like as far as producers? Shit, I work with my nigga Dope. Mm-hmm. Um, I work with Dope, nigga Bully, Lucky. Mm-hmm. Um, shit, the whole fab for real. I work with all them. Ain't ain't really too many other niggas I fuck with for real, for real. Like as far as producing. 
Oh, you're talking about producing? I thought you were yeah. talking about rapping. Shit. Oh, no, like producing, like, uh... Like, oh, people who produce my music? Yeah. Oh, it's a few niggas. Um, I really go... It's my cousin. Uh, out of Redford type shit. So, shout out to him. Um, I don't know if you can tag his Instagram or whatever, but... No, I got you. Um, but yeah, he produced my music for sure. And, um, he hard. He hard as hell for sure. He about to... He doing my EP. Oh, for sure. That's he. So, yeah. do you think, like, I know you said you you hope your, you know, your daddy could produce your shit, but do you have, like, any producer that you want to work with or dog solid, your cousin solid? Shit. My nigga, um, Smooth, be smooth. Shout out to my nigga, man. He, uh, he working on some producing shit, too. Yeah. So, he, um, he working on getting all that shit situated. So, when he get all that shit situated, I'm for sure going to tap up with him. Um, and shit, no really other. Not I want to get all my focus on my people first before I go branch out to other producers and shit. For sure, for sure. That's that's very much appreciated. How much do you think that matters though? Like fucking with your people first. Like how you feel about that? Put your fucking people on, like for real. Like <laughs> that shit bold as hell if you be and then your niggas not even for real. So if I do something, I want all my niggas to do it with me. Mm-hmm. Shit. And we're going to get it all together. That's how it got to be. For sure. That's what you said. I appreciate that for sure. So, as far as, you know, your future. Right. So, it's 2022. It's still January. So, you feel me? It's, it's still the beginning. So, going into this year, like, what's your goal? Like, what you got up for this year? Besides, you know, the EP and the timeline. Like, do you have Shit. any other, like, ventures or Hell ideas? Yeah. Any of that? I got a I got a few ideas in the head for real. Um, I'm trying to open up a little hookah lounge. Oh, shit. that's it. That's it. Yeah, a little hookah lounge slash restaurant. So I got that shit going, and I'm bringing back my clothing line. Yeah. And um, shit, just we gonna have some fab real the world merch coming to them too. So it's just a lot of shit going on this year for real, for real. That's it. Shit, gonna buy a couple of vending machines. Just investing all year, man. I see, I see. So as far as our clothing brand goes, what inspired you to start that? Uh, I actually had that shit back since like high school, for real. It's called Exclusive mm-hmm. Visions, for mm-hmm. real, for real. So it's just like, that shit exclusive to you type shit. So it's like, you <laughs> type shit. You feel me? It's your own vision, so. Yeah. You know I mean? But yeah, I had, I had took a break from it for a minute because I had moved away mm-hmm. or whatever. So I couldn't bring all that shit. But I'm for sure going to um, bring all that stuff back this year with some new designs and um, just a whole bunch of new shit coming. For sure. So what inspired like the, I know it's not, you know, finish it, but what inspired the, the FAB merch or how you how you plan to go about that? It's just like, shit, get our name out there, you feel me? It's like, people got to see us. Mm-hmm. Not only like here, they got to see us too. So yeah. Yeah, um, if you got some fire stuff, you feel me? You, you represent that. So you got to have some fire stuff and they going to fuck with it. You feel me? So that's what really inspired inspired me for real. Mm-hmm. I got some ideas drawn up and you know, some shit in my head for sure. I'm still working on, but that shit finna rock this year for sure. For sure, for sure. I can't wait to see it. So yeah. last but not least, so what do you think separates you from all artists, from all other artists? Even though you just starting out, what you think separates you? What make you different? I got my own like voice. Like I got my own style for real. Like, yeah. um, a lot of the beats I hop on, you won't hear a lot of Detroit people hop on for real. Um, sure. A lot of, um, and it's like, it's just, I rap what I live for real. So like, there's no cap in the rap for real. So that's another thing that make me stand out. And it's like, I just, you feel me? I, everything I do, I just take my time when I'm writing. So yeah. I can really per- perfect my craft, so. That's what I really try to do for real at the end of the day is perfect my craft and shit. I just think that's what separates me for real. I don't rush in the studio. I have everything planned out before. Mm-hmm. Shit just, I mean, I go in that bitch ready. Uh, and sure. No punching. Or I try not to punch in. I don't really punch in a lot though, but you go in there grandma always ready. For sure, so that's your process, you just, you write, so you be prepared, you be strategic in the studio. Hell yeah, I come in that bitch prepared. I got my beats already ready, y'all, and then you got niggas like Dope and then Lucky and all them niggas who just come in that bitch freestyle and shit, no, I come in that bitch prepared. <laughs> I come in that bitch prepared, I be ready, man, I blow a little wood, shit, right, I mean, it's like that. 
I can freestyle too, don't get me wrong, but it's just, I feel like I'd rather have it written down yeah. on my phone type shit. Mm-hmm. Like a nice little wood, shit yeah. just vibing. No, I feel it for sure. Yeah, <laughs> got to. So what, um, what do you feel like is your song? I know you said it's different, but do you have at least like a word to describe it? So, yeah, I'm just trying to bring the old school back in a different okay. way though. Okay, okay. It's just like, I'm using all my old, my favorite old school songs mm-hmm. to really um, like use my music to, or do my music to. So that's what I can really say is I'm just trying to really just change the sound for real. A lot of, a lot of Detroit rappers use the same little Detroit instrumentals and stuff. You yeah. feel me? I don't really want to do that. I'm not saying I don't. I got a couple songs on Detroit instrumentals, but my main sound is probably the old school for sure. And that's what I fuck with the most. Mm, for sure. You think it's important to be different, you know? Yeah, because nobody want to keep hearing the same same sound from five different other rappers, mm. six, seven, ten other different rappers. It's like, that shit irritating. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to listen. It's just a different sound every time, like a different voice every time. It's just like, I ain't trying to hear that shit. Everybody rap about the same stuff for real, so. Mm. It's like all my niggas, we all rap different. Yeah. Like we all got Y'all our own, sure do. we all got our own little different, different little flow to shit. So that's why I can bang our shit all day. It's like <laughs> it's not the same shit. It's like we all different for you. Right, right. Yeah. Sure. So do you have any last words for the people? Man, um, shit. Long live King, man. Um, okay. Free money, all that, man. Long live JP Free, man. So it's gonna be a good year, twenty twenty two. We gonna run it up and shit. Just have fun with this shit, man. We're going to ball all year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I appreciate you for tapping in, showing love, and coming out for an interview. If you always mess with it, let us know, and let me know who you want to see get interviewed next. All the links to stream 322 GWAC are going to be in the description below, and so are all the socials for the Playhouse, as well as me. Yes, sir. So, yeah, thank you for tapping in, man. You know it, man. And it's the Playhouse. Yes, sir. When I touch down, you better tap in.